Hallelujah. Uh, welcome, uh, brothers and sisters, my beloved brothers, dearly loved, precious, beloved brothers and sisters, to the gathering of the Lord Jesus. Jesus has promised where two or three are gathered in his name, he is there. As we have <coughs> recently celebrated the Good Friday, the sacrifice, the suffering of Jesus Christ on the cross, the crucifixion of Jesus, the crucified Christ is victorious, conqueror, and we have celebrated his resurrection. Oh, on the resurrection day, on the Easter day, yes, Jesus is alive. What he is doing? What he is doing present? At present, what he is doing? If we read Bible, Mark chapter 16, verse 19 says, He is sitting at the right hand of God, the Almighty Father, the Almighty Jehovah. And uh, he's sitting at the right hand of great Jehovah, the great I am, that I am. And what he's doing there, sitting at the right hand? Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Romans chapter 8, verse 34 says that he is interceding for us. He is pleading for us. He is praying for us. He is crying for us. Every, for every brother, for every sister. He is pleading. He is crying. He is praying. He is interceding for their blessing. For their spiritual growth. For their overcoming every trials, every tribulation, every temptation, every troubles. He's praying. He's praying 24 by 7. All throughout the year, he is continuously interceding, crying on your behalf, my beloved brother, my beloved sister, because you are precious. He has purchased you with his own blood. You are valuable. You are precious in his eyes. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20 says, You are brought with a bought with a price. What price? The precious, powerful, pure blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God who takes the sins of the whole world. John chapter 1, verse 29 says. See, look to the Lamb of God. Oh, he takes away all the sins of the world. He will take away your sins, your iniquities, your transgressions. Beloved, cheer up my brother, cheer up my sister. There is uh, someone who is pleading for you, praying for you. Oh, bless my son, Samuel. Strengthen him. Increase his faith. Let him not get discouraged. Let him experience wonders, signs, miracles every day. Let daily bread be given to him. Yes, yes, yes. Protect him from all his enemies, from all the naysayers, from the jealous people, from the evil, wicked people. Let them not do any harm. He is continuously crying for you, for you, for your blessing, so that your children might be blessed, so your body might be healthy, your soul will be wealthy, he's praying, crying, interceding, what a privilege, what a great blessing we have, his blood is crying out, he's crying out for our blessing, for our our healing, for our deliverance, for our children to be blessed, their future to be prosperous, to be bright, to be secure. Yes, your family problems to be solved, your financial needs to be met according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And he has shed his blood, but how much? Bible says, last, even the last drop of blood he shed for you, for you, for you. That's why when the Romans soldiers pierced on the side of 
Jesus, blood and water flew. And uh, the blood and water flew because it was the last drop of blood that was coming out. And he shed last drop of blood for you because he loves you. He, Jesus loves you deeply and dearly. You are precious, valuable, priceless. Uh, the Lamb of God now is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the Lord of glory. He is the Lord of all lords. Hallelujah. He is the Lily of the valley. He is the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. He is the light of the world. He will enlighten your darkness, my beloved brother, sister. Don't give up. Don't lose your heart. Don't give up. Your miracle is on the way. Is bringing miracles, wonders, signs for you because you are precious. Uh, Bible says, John chapter 4, verse 48. Jesus said, Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. So many times, due to troubles, due to tribulation, due to trials, due to difficulties, due to disturbance, due to depression, due, due to discouragement, due to diseases, due to disappointments. We get weary. We lose our courage. We lose our hope. We lose our strength. We become hopeless. We become helpless. Bible says, Jesus Christ gives strength to his people. Psalms 29 verse 11 says, The Lord gives peace. The Lord gives strength, power to his people. You are his children. He will strengthen you. Psalm 62 verse 11 says, Once God has spoken, twice we have heard that power and strength belongs to God Almighty. Yes, yes. Oh, his voice is so powerful. That's why once he speaks, that power belongs to him. That strength belongs to him. And we hear twice because his voice is Full of power, full of majesty. You can read the power in the voice of God as uh, described in Psalms 29. Oh, that's a powerful uh, voice of the Lord. And his voice uh, oh, gives us strength, my beloved brother, sister. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he will strengthen you. He will strengthen your heart. He will strengthen your soul. Oh, have you become discouraged? Have you been defeated? Or oh, due to repeated failures? Oh, due to sickness? Due to diseases? Due to disappointments? Are you feeling helpless? Are you feeling strengthless? As you are listening to his word, it's not my word. It's his word coming from the cross of Calvary, the conqueror, the victorious, crucified Christ is strengthening you. He has said, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29, the Lord gives power to the weak and he increases strength to those who don't have strength, who don't have power. Do you feel helpless? Do you feel hopeless? He's your help. He's your hope. Jesus Christ is the help to the helpless. Jesus Christ is the hope to the hopeless. He will give you hope. He will help you. He will surely, definitely help you. He said, Psalms 50 verse 15, Call to me in the day of trouble, in the day of danger. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Yes, beloved brother. Yes, beloved sister. Jesus Christ is a God of miracles. Anxious to do miracles for you. For you. Right now. If you need healing. If you want your body pain to go. Your headache to go. Migraine, asthma. To go. Spondylitis to go. Meningitis to go. Bleeding issue. Or oh, irregular pain. Periods, uh, oh, blood flow, oh, continuous blood flow, oh, uh, are you 
becoming weak? Are you getting hopeless? Jesus Christ is giving you strength. Jesus Christ is strengthening you. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, as we are waiting for him, as we are crying and praying to him, uh, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, uh, Oh, uh, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Uh, you will be refreshed. Uh, you will be renewed. A new strength will come. And as Paul says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me, who empowers me, who gives me power, courage, strength to face the troubles, to face the tribulation, to face the temptation, to face the trials in this world. Jesus himself has said, John chapter 16 verse 33, in this world, you will have troubles, tribulation, trials, temptation. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yes, Jesus Christ has overcome. And you are the sons and daughters of Jesus. As per John chapter 1 verse 12, you are the sons and daughters of Jesus. Oh, what a privilege. And he has said in Romans chapter 8 verse 37, that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Hallelujah. Yes, my beloved brother. Yes, my beloved sister. You are more than conqueror. You will conquer your sickness. You, you will conquer wicked people, evil people, jealous people. You will conquer the evil devil. Oh, because Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary destroyed Dissolved, diminished, dissolved the power of the enemy. He made him without any oh, arms. He has disarmed. He has disarmed on the cross. Jesus Christ has conquered the devil, has conquered the death, has conquered the diseases. He's your healer. He's Jehovah Rapha. By his stripes, by his wounds, you are healed. Right now, right now, tumors, cancerous tumors are dissolving, disappearing. Every pain is gone. Why? Because Jesus Christ took all your diseases, all your sickness, all your pain upon the cross of Calvary. Look at it, the cross. Look at the suffering of Jesus. You can see, I'm holding a nail okay I hope you might be able to see the nail it's only uh, six seven eight inch long but on the cross the nails that were driven on the hands of Jesus were around 10 to 12 inches long sharp strong nails were driven on the hands of Jesus on the feet of Jesus and Bible scholar says 600 Roman soldiers pecked Jesus mercilessly they slapped him they punched him they pulled his beard you can imagine how much it pains if someone pulls up a hair if some oh, thorn pinches in our skin. But Jesus took all the pain of nails, all the pain of thorns, crown of thorns was pierced on his head. Bible scholar says how many thorns were there in that crown of thorns? 173 long and sharp, strong thorns were pierced on his head. Oh, the blood started oozing out, flowing out. He couldn't even open his eyes. His eyes was filled with blood. In spite of all this excruciating pain, all oh, suffering, he had not uh, drank even a, oh, a spoon of little water. Whole night he was tormented. 
he was beaten by 600 roman soldiers mercilessly he understand and that strength flows from his wounds as you have heard various verse promise verse of jesus saying that i will strengthen you from where does that strength come from where does that power comes that power comes from the wounds of jesus the five wounds of jesus on his back his back was plowed like a field the bones were visible the flesh was torn apart as psalms 22 verse 17 says i can count all my bones yes beloved brother yes beloved sister his bones were visible for your healing for your health he loves to heal you jesus will heal you his nail pierced, bleeding, healing, wounded hands will touch you and give you healing. Healing is his children's bread from his back. The flesh was torn apart. The bones was visible. Why? 39 stripes. Each stripe have nine cords, sharp cords, and it will pluck out the flesh. Flesh was torn apart. For your healing, by his wounds you are healed. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 says, 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 says, By his wounds, by his stripes you are healed. And the wounds on his head when the crown of thorns was pierced and was wet. Oh yes, by the rod, yes, he suffered. And the pierced uh, spear was pierced on his side. The, his side was wounded so that your family life can be built up. Misunderstandings will go. Confusion, division will disappear. Husband, wife uh, will love uh, each other, will understand, will tolerate, uh, will adjust to each other. Children will obey their parents. Oh, children will love and respect their parents. Oh, parents will take care of their children. They will guide them in the fear of the Lord. They will teach them the word of God. Yes, family life will be built. He will strengthen your family life. Oh, your spiritual life. That's why his side was pierced with a spear. Build your broken, your wounded, your divided, your uh, confused family life. Yes, beloved brother, beloved sister, he wants unity in the in your family, and he's the prince of peace. Uh, he took the punishment for our peace. He became a man of sorrows just to give you peace. Isaiah chapter fifty-three, verse three says. He became a man of sorrows just to give you peace. He was punished to give you peace. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Yes, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. And by his wounds, by his stripes, you are, you were healed. You were healed. You were healed. Thank him. Praise him. Glorify him. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I am healed. My sins have been forgiven, forgotten. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12 says, Jesus Christ forgets and forgives our sins. Blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Are you not able to leave any harmful unprofitable habits those stubborn habits Jesus Christ has the power to deliver you from your stubborn sins from your st stubborn addictions yes 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 Psalms 30, 130 he says he will redeem you from all your iniquities from all your transgressions from all your sins from all your stubborn sins, Psalms 19, you can read. Yes, yes, he's willing. His blood will cleanse you, cleanse your soul from all your past sins. He's able to 
make you new creation. Oh, all those who have received Jesus have become a new creation. All things have passed away. If our sins are oh, red as crimson, it will become white as snow. Let us reason together. Let us acknowledge Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Uh, Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. Whoever confesses and forsake his sins shall receive the mercy, shall receive the forgiveness of God. Yes, he's faithful enough if you and I acknowledge our sins, acknowledge our infirmities, our weakness, our flaws. There are two types of sin. Sin of omission, sin of commission. Commission means we know that, okay, stealing is wrong. Having adulterous thoughts are wrong. But still, if we commit, that is sins of commission. And sin of omission is if we have the power to do good. And if we don't do good, it's a sin. In James chapter 4, it is written. Genesis chapter 4, it is written. If we have the ability, also in Proverbs it is written, if we have the ability to do good, but if we don't do it, don't help the poor, don't care for the sick and the needy people, for the widows, for the orphans. We are guilty, but still the blood of Jesus Christ has the power to cleanse us from all our sins. The sins we have committed as sins of omission, sins of commission, his blood is powerful. And Bible says, while he was being beaten up, he was punched, his beard was plucked, he was picked up all by the Roman soldier, he was slapped. He was beaten mercilessly. Still, he didn't open his mouth. When some pin pinches, when some thorn pinches, when injection is pierced, what we do? We cry, it's paining, it's paining. But Jesus didn't open his mouth. He took all of our pain, all of our pain, all the pain of the humanity on himself. Uh, that's why Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 says, uh, He himself took all of our infirmities, all of our sickness, uh, all of our sins on the cross. Yes, beloved. Yes, uh, there is a God who loves everyone. Jesus Christ is for everyone. He doesn't uh, discriminate uh, between the, any caste, any creed, any religion. Whether you are rich or poor. Whether you belong to this religion or that religion. He loves everyone. He died for everyone. He shed his last drop of blood for everyone. That's why... His wounds gives us strength. They strengthen us. While we are living in this world, we will have trials, tribulation, temptation, troubles by the wicked people, by the wicked devil. But Jesus Christ has been wounded. His wounds, five wounds, strengthen us. Our mental, for our mental strength, for our physical strength, for our bodily strength. For our spiritual strength, he suffered on the cross. He was made, oh, oh, soldiers mocked him, made fun of him. Are you going through shame? Jesus was hanged without any clothes. He was suffering with great shame. Why? In order to crown you with double honor. Are your relatives making fun of you, mocking you, your friends, your colleagues, your co-workers, oh, your family members? Are they torturing you, troubling you, troubling you? Oh, that you are reading Bible, you are praying, oh, you are fasting. Oh, Jesus, understand the pain of shame. 
he became a shame just to make you honorable. He said, uh, oh, I will give you double honor instead of your shame. You will have double honor as per Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. Yes, double honor, double honor because the Lord Jesus Christ uh, to call your shame on the cross. Another thing, uh, this time uh, as I was praying for uh, the Holy Spirit, for Jesus, the Lord is that spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? The Lord is that spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 says, don't get confused. Who is the Holy Spirit? The Lord himself is that spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17. So as I was preparing for the Good Friday, I had to give on the one, uh, Father forgive them. The first word of Jesus, seven sayings of the Jesus, first saying of Jesus from the cross. I had to preach in the church. So as I was praying, Jesus told me, son, show them the hammer. Show them the hammer. Oh, on my hands the hammer was beaten. The nails were beaten. The nails were beaten. You can imagine. It's a household hammer. But if it is beaten on our hand, how much it will pay? The Roman soldiers were very heavy built, well built of bodybuilders and their hammer was thicker, bigger, wider. With each beating, you can imagine, uh, his uh, feet was pierced with nails. His hands was pierced with nails. <laughs> See how much, how much for your healing. Everyone that saw that hammer, that saw the beating, the nails, was shocked. Their heart melted and they cried out, Yes, Lord. As you said, as you cried out, in spite of your excruciating pain, by the hammer, by the nails driven on your, both your hand, both your feet, but still you cried, Lord, forgive them for they don't know what they do. Are you having any thoughts of revenge? Are you not able to forgive? Those tormentors, those troublemakers who have deceived you, those who have done injustice to you, to your family, they have betrayed you, they have ditched you, they have been very selfish, they have been oh, doing bad things, evil things, they have oh destroyed your reputation are you full of revenge jesus love jesus power jesus suffering the wounds of jesus from the cross of calvary are going to give you strength to forgive and forget just cry out lord you didn't open your mouth you took all the pain of the hammer of the nails it was driven on your palm on your hand on your feet but you didn't open your mouth you give me that power you give me that strength to forgive my oh offend who have wronged me who have betrayed me who have done unjust things for me for my family for my children who have done injustice for me in my office, in my oh, neighborhood, in my family, in my society. Jesus' power is coming from the wounds of Jesus. Oh, from the five wounds of Jesus, his power is coming to help you to forgive your offenders, your tormentors, your troublemakers, your critics. Jealous people, evil people, those who have destroyed your reputation, destroyed your name, destroyed your oh, uh, finances. 
might be destroyed your job you have lost your job due to all these evil people remember jesus love and power is giving you strength to forgive because jesus said in matthew chapter 6 verse 12 14 and 15 unless you forgive those who offend you you won't receive forgiveness from the heavenly father so it is difficult my beloved brother it is difficult but jesus gives strength look to jesus look to jesus on the cross look at his wounds strength power to forgive strength to forgive is flowing his love is flowing his liquid love is flowing in your heart because unforgiveness is like a poison and prison remember unforgiveness is like prison and poison it destroys you poison is destroying your heart your body your soul you will get ulcers because you are not able to forgive you have uh, thoughts of revenge your blood pressure is always high because you are unable to forgive unable to forget that's why it's like a poison and also it's like a prison prisoners they face the difficulty they face <coughs> torment we want to come out from the torment jesus will help you to forget to forget <coughs> yes 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 oh his power is coming his power is coming he loves you he loves you deeply and dearly that's why he didn't open his mouth he took all the beating <coughs> of the hammer for you because he loves you that's why oh he says uh, oh uh, the now jesus christ is as i told you interceding for you sitting at the right hand of god the father the almighty and his body is how how is the body is appearing in heaven if we read revelation chapter 5 verse 9 his body is still having the wounds that's why when the father almighty god the father looks at his son's body he remembers how much it had my son had suffered for this human beings and he forgives he gives us strength oh he strengthens us physically spiritually emotionally mentally financially oh family wise and jesus said matthew chapter 18 verse 18 to 20 hallelujah oh was matthew chapter 18 verse 18 whatever you, whatever you bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven another translation says whatever you lock see this is lock okay in india we use to lock our house doors okay so bible says whatever whatever you bind on this earth whatever you lock on this earth shall be locked see i have locked and i can't open i can't open your problems will be locked as you as we pray yes oh and jesus has the keys in revelation chapter 1 verse 18 says oh i was dead now i am alive forever more and i have the keys of death and the hell yes oh to solve your problems jesus christ is having the keys to solve your problems of your life yes beloved he has the keys he has the keys to oh to solve the problems uh, oh whatever he opens the door he opens the door for new job new ministry new projects uh, new uh, supporters new uh, vision uh, oh whatever he opens no one can close because jesus uh, holds in his hands the keys 
Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. Isaiah chapter 22 verse 22. It says Jesus Christ has the keys. Oh yes, 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 yes. All your problems shall be solved by Jesus Christ. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. Let's thank him. Oh, he will lock all your problems. He will lock all your problems. Whatever you bind, whatever you lock on this earth shall be locked. Lock your disease. Lock all your oh, troubles, uh, temptation, trials. Uh, and it shall be locked. It shall be bound by the supernatural power of Jesus. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him, oh, hallelujah. The glory, hallelujah. Shall we close our eyes in prayer? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for speaking to us. Yes, Lord. When devil plans our funeral, Jesus Christ, the conqueror, oh, the one who holds the keys of death and the hell, all power has been given to Jesus Christ. Oh. On this earth uh, of the heaven, Jesus Christ is in complete control. According to Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus is always with us. Uh, when devil plans our funeral, Jesus plans our golden future. Our bright future. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. His power, his power, his majesty, his glory is coming. To you, my brother, to you, my sister, you are being strengthened from the five wounds of Jesus. From the five wounds of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, look at the wounds of Jesus. He's strengthening you emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Khuda ka supo lete hue bhari sali uske sharir ke paanch ghao se khun baha मेरे खाते नदी जैसे बहते थे हमारे दिल पिघल गए खुदा का बेटा खून बहाया करुणा भरा खुदा का सुपुत लेते हुए Bari Salim Uske Sharir Ke Panch Ghaavo Se Khun Baha Mere Khaate Nadi Jaisse Bahate Thay Hamare Dil Pighal Gaye Karuna Bhara Khuda Ka Supo लेते हुए भारी सलीम यस माय बिलवेड ब्रदर माय बिलवेड सिस्टर ही कैरीड द वेट ऑफ द क्रॉस इट वाज 150 केजी क्रॉस ही कैरीड ऑन हिस सोल्जर ही विल कैरी यू इफ ही कैरीड द वेट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड अपॉन हिस सोल्जर आई नो माय ब्रदर ही विल कैरी यू if we carried the weight of the world upon his shoulder, I know my sister, he will carry you. Lord Jesus, embrace every brother, every sister, Lord. Let them feel the touch of love, touch of compassion, touch of healing. Yes, Lord, touch of love, touch of compassion. Embrace them, Lord. Kiss them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Let them feel your gentle touch right now. Right now. <clears throat> Let your nail pierce, bleeding, wounded, healing hands. Touch. Touch, Lord. Bleeding and bruised hands. Heal, Master. Heal, Master. 
Heal master, heal master, deliver them from all their problems, from every financial difficulties, from every mental agony, Lord, from every tension, let every blood pressure, let every blood sugar be normal. Let your pure, powerful blood of Jesus, precious blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world, flow, flow in their world. Veins, Lord, let every blood pressure become normal. Let sugar, diabetes become normal. Heart disease be healed. Be healed. Arteries open up. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Asthma go. Yes. Yes, you were not able to breathe, Lord. Every asthma problem, every respiratory, every lung problem, every kidney problem be healed. Oh, grant them new kidney, new lungs, new heart, new arteries. Yes, 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 breathing problem be stopped, be healed. Yes, uh, periods be normal, menstrual Menstrual cycles be normal in the name of Jesus, in the mighty, magnificent, merciful, majestic, marvelous, multiplying, miracle working name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Mighty Jesus. Glorious Jesus. Healing Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for embracing me, for blessing me, for kissing me. Amen. 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 Amen.